everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey, 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 everybody. Guess what time it is? <coughs> Pardon me. It's time for a pick 10. Yes, I'm still sick. Yes, I'm still coughing. We're working on that. Um, lung, lung doctor is, is helping me with it. Okay. We are going to use today, these are just wooden blocks that you can pick up at your local dollar store. Okay. Um, what is on those are all different prompts, whether it be stamp into wet gesso, add fabric, paint with your fingers, I'm sorry, paint with your eyes closed, whatever the case may be. Now there's only nine of these, so I'm going to have to roll one a second time, but we'll do that later on as I get a few that are, are already done. Um, this idea came from Gina Ahrens. Check out her channel if I remember. I will put the link in the, in the description box, box below, but my memory's eh. So, all right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take these and I'm going to throw them on my desk. Hold on, let me bring you out. See my mess? Actually, it's not too bad today. Um, we're going to take these. We're going to throw them on the desk. Ready? Ready? Here they are. All right, so now because I have them, I'm just going to try to, <coughs> um, I'm just going to try to do them in order. We've got stamp into wet gesso, use non-dominant hand, print with bubble wrap, add, add books text, glue something down, add circles, add watercolor, turn your work upside down, and paint with your eyes closed. Wow, this is going to be a fun one, isn't it? All right, so there's our first nine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the stuff out that I need. I need to, uh, I need to, what do you call this book? So it doesn't stick together. Um, wax it. Some of them are waxed. But let's see. Oh, this was last month's. That one was, I'll tell you, that was wicked. <laughs> oh, no, maybe it wasn't. That This was last, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. That was last month's. All right. So here we are today. We are on, I'm going to cover this up. Well, I'll tell you, that was a rough one to do. Rough. Some of these are really rough. <laughs> Some of them are very difficult. Not difficult, just challenging. That's the word I want. Challenging to do. So let me grab a one of these BBs. Maybe I'll have to have two of these BBs. Just so I don't get stuff on the other pages, which, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so let me get some stuff together, and we are going to start playing with um, our blocks. The first thing we have to do is stamp into wet gesso. Uh, let me get all the supplies out, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. All right, I've gotten a bunch of stuff out. We'll just see how it goes. Um, let me get that out of there. Nope, we're going to leave it here. Okay, so the first step in our... Um, 10 pick 10 is stamp into wet gesso first i need to get my gesso bottle open <laughs> hold on i love this thing my girlfriend lynn got me this for christmas she's like i know it's a weird christmas present but let me tell you it's so handy so so handy to have all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down some wet gesso now i like kind of like the color and stuff that's here so i'm just going to Oh, I've got some texture from texture paste here. Um, we're just going to turn down a little bit here and there. And then we're going to stamp in it. Now i got a couple different... Oh, oh, what the heck, put it on there. Um, i got a couple different things here. I've got this, which you guys probably won't see this until the gesso dries and we get some more color on it. But it's definitely here. Yeah, along with the cat hair. Come on. Really? Really cat hair? Okay. So, there's... We're doing some stamping in wet gesso. And you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more down. I'm going to do it somewhere like on this. Make it a little bit thicker. Well, that's not going to work. Unless... Doo -doo -doo. Things always have a way of working, don't they? We we'll just cut it off. This is um, a stamp that was sent to me by Gina. Um, I don't know, one of our 
Happy Mail things that we send back and forth to each other. Yeah, I like it. See? It's right there. You can't see it, but I can see it. All right, let's put heavier here. I know it's going to take a bit for this to dry, so I'm going to have to dry some of it. All right, let's try that again. Let's do this side. Perfect. I like it. I like it. I was going to put this onto something, but I'm not sure what. All right, so there's our stamp and our wet gesso. Let's see what's next. Next is add a quote. Now, before I can do anything, I'm going to have to um, dry this up. So we'll be right back. All right, so my next um, step is, is to add a quote. Now, what I did is I just grabbed, I have this box of words. You guys have seen this before. Um, and it's so funny because the first thing I saw was stay, stay the, I pulled it out, stay the course, and then this, life is good. Okay, sounds good to me. Stay the course, life is good. And it is, even though, you know, we have to deal with pain and crazy people and, and not crazy, you know what I mean. Um, just stay the course, life is good. Let's see, and it says to put it down. So we are going to put the quote down. I'm just cutting it apart. I'm not worried about if it's straight. It's just stay the course. Life is good. I'm going to cut this apart. I think these scissors have seen better days. Life is good. All right, I'm going to take out the sides of this one. All right. So I'm going to put this down using some Martha Stewart decoupage. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me say before I'm not a huge fan of Martha Stewart, but I like her craft supplies, especially when they're on clearance. All right, so let's start out with stay the course. Come on. I'm going to put you right here. Stay the course. Um, I have dried that gesso, however, it's pretty much only the top layer that is dry, so that's why I'm trying to be really careful. Life is good. And let's do a little bit right down here. Life is good. Okay, so we've added our quote. Next it says, use non-dominant hand then it says, um, here they are, print with bubble wrap. So I'm going to use my non-dominant hand and print with bubble wrap. All right, let me just give this a quick shot. Stay down, stay down. Just a quick shot of staying down. Oops. You normally don't see me drying stuff, but it is what it is. All right, so now we are going to let me move that out of the way. Um, glue something down. So, oh no, no, I'm sorry. Use non-dominant ham and print with bubble wrap. Here's my bubble wrap. At least a newer thing of bubble wrap. I couldn't find my other one. I know I have one that I use here, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So that's all good. We'll use another piece. So we're going to print. Now I've kind of got some odd colors going here, so let's see if we can make it kind of come together. Let's see what color we're going to use. Um, let's use... Got a couple here. Got a purple and a blue. Oh, this one's brand new. Alright, let's start with the purple. Now I have to use my non-dominant hand. So I'm actually going to take this. Um, I put some paint on my palette over here. And then I'm just going to put it on my bubble wrap like that. This is not going to be easy. Kind of cool, huh? Let's do it again. 
It's not going exactly where I want it to go, but hey, it's working. I like it. I like it. Alright, so let's take this, and we're just going to put this under here for right now. Let's dry this up. Alright, so that was one print with bubble wrap. Let's see if we can get... Um, get the rest of this off here. Alright, I want to do another color. I don't really want to open that one since it's not open yet. And I'm sure I have a blue over here that is open. I do. I do, I do, I do. This is um, this is Americana Deep Periwinkle and this is Indian Turquoise. Same thing, Americana. These are just um, cheap craft paints that I buy at your local craft store. Alright, so I'm just going to take the blue. Alright, my non-dominant hand. We're going to blue. Right here. Right there. Right here. I like it. And then we're just going to make sure we get it all off here. Close enough. Alright. One more. Right down here like it. Just adding that to the back side. Okay, so we're done with our non-dominant hand. We're done with printing with bubble wrap. Next, add book text. Now, what I ended up doing is because I had that gesso on my palette knife, I just kind of threw it on here. This is a fantastic paper that um, Jerry Bellini had sent to me um, when we were doing some round robin boxes and I just love it so we're gonna add some book text and we're gonna glue it down with I just want some long strips too you know I always tear up more than I need but that's okay all right, we're going to use the same thing. We're going to use the Martha Stewart decoupage, and I went and put my wet brush away, so I'm going to get another one. Okay. So we're going to glue, add book text, which is what we're doing right now. I'm going to add some book text to this. And, you know, when I do this, I don't care if the words are upside down or right side up. It doesn't really matter, right? I'm not going to sit here and read the book text, so why would it matter? It's just, I think it's just part, I believe, the way, the way I think is it's just part of the background. So we're just going to leave it there in the background. So. Alright, the next one is actually glue something down. Now I'm not going to do these two together because I want to do some type of a, maybe a focal point on this. So we'll see. But the next one is glue something down, so we got to keep out our glue, glue, our glue brush. Don't mind me, I can't think today. Yeah, I can't think today. Pain hasn't been good lately, or I should say, how do I say that? The pain's been higher lately. Let's put it that way. So I have to take it easy when I can. But I still like to create, so I just, I'm not going to stop creating. So, the way it is. Alright, let's put this one right here. Okay, so we've put down some book text. Pretty cool. Apparently I didn't glue under there before I put it down. Alright, I'm going to hang on to the glue brush. I'm going to see that too much. Just a little bit left over. Okay, and it says glue something down. So we added the book text. Now I'm going to glue something down. And what are we going to glue down? I have this box here it's sitting next to me. It's a drawer. And it's got all these goodies in it. So that would be pretty to glue on there. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see. Gotta get rid of some of all this outside stuff first. I'm 
Nah, too dark. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, bunch of flowers. Got a swirly gig. Don't want that. Let's see. Glue something down. Hmm. I'm gonna glue that on there just because I can. It's just um. Um, just some flowers with little butterflies. We're going to put that on there. Oh, we got some. Hey, let's do this. Let's put these flowers on there. Let's see. What else? Um, I like those flowers. Do I have any more of those? No, but I have this little guy. Don't mind my phone. It's just doing its thing this morning. Alright, that's what I'm gluing down right there. So let's put these back in the drawer. Where'd it go? Glue something down. Alright, so we're going to glue these down. I'm going to put these right here. Um, what those flowers are, of course, they're cherry blossoms, I know that, but um, what they are is I had a, I was going through my scrapbook paper the other day because I had to make a couple scrapbook pages, and I saw this piece of scrapbook paper that had all these beautiful, beautiful cherry blossoms on it, and I thought to myself, well, I don't think I'll ever use it as a background for a scrapbook, but why not just... Um, out the flowers so that's what I did one night sitting watching TV I just cut out the flowers all right so what's next next is add circles and then I think this is an either or which add is either add watercolor or turn your work upside down and then paint with your eyes closed I'm going to add watercolor but first I'm going to add circles and I'm going to do that with the paint that I have left over from making the um, doing the bubble wrap so we're just gonna we're gonna make circles, huh? And I just grabbed a, a paintbrush off to the side here. Oh, a little bit of this purple. Yeah, it's going more blue, but that's because I have a lot of blue in my. There we go. Now we got purple. Making circles. All right, so we made our circles, add circles. Next, we gotta add watercolor or turn our work upside down. You know what? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna turn it upside down and then I'm gonna paint with my eyes closed. I don't know what I'm gonna be painting. But let's see what happens. We're going to turn it upside down. And then we're going to paint with my eyes closed. Now you guys aren't going to be able to see whether or not my eyes are closed. And trust me, they're going to be closed. So let me throw that in there. Sorry, getting my brayer cleaned off here. And yeah, my brayer's nice and wet, so that's good. All right, so we got that cleaned up. And then we still have to do one more, right? We still have to do, because that's only nine, so we're going to do one more prompt. All right, so we're going to paint with my eyes closed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get something to paint with. I want this because I want it to be a small, whatever I paint. <laughs> so I've just got this brush here. Closing my eyes. Okay, I'm first I'm going to put my brush on my paint. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes, which they are. And then I'm going to paint.
Let's figure out where my, hope I got some paint on there. Uh-oh, I think I got my, oops, sorry about that. Maybe somewhere in this area is going to be paint. Okay. Ah, uh, not too bad. I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but uh, turn right, grace it up. Um, yeah, it's okay. All right, we did that. That was interesting. I don't know if I want to do that again. So now, what I've got to do is I've got all of my blocks here, and I need to just take one of them. I'm just gonna mix them up here. I'm gonna take one, put it down. Add flour, or add a flower, or add something metallic. Guess what? I'm gonna use the metallic. Because uh, I'm getting so I really like my metallic paints. <clears throat> so I've got a few metallics here. Add a flower or add something metallic. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna add something metallic. Where'd that pen just go? Here. Not a pen. Paintbrush, not a pen. Paintbrush. Alright, and I'm going to take this. This is a um, Anita's All Purpose Metallic Craft Paint in a Rose. Put my watercolors away because I'm not going to use those today. Alright, we're going to do this in a rose. I'm just going to play around with some of these flowers a little bit. So a little bit of metallics on them here and there. I got way too much paint, but that's okay. Because I will use it for something else. And I have something... Something is dinging. Sorry, that's my chimes that you hear. I have chimes on this little lamp that I have here, and they were dinging. Hold still. Okay. All right. So just adding a little bit of metallic paint to this. Now I also want to Now it looks like my quote has got lost, so we're going to bring that back out, and then we're going to do that with gold paint, gold metallic paint. All right. So that's the rose metallic. Now I'm going to take, this is a classic gold, same thing, Anita's, classic gold metallic. And I am going to... I should have uh, shaken that up a little bit more. It's been a while. <clears throat> so I am just going to kind of make this little box here around it. Sorry about my phone, guys. It's just pinging like crazy. I'm sorry. I will shut it off, but I'm almost done with this, so I can't see wasting your time so just gotta hear a ping see if I can reach over and and boy this is so true just stay the course because life is good even though you know we have to deal with uh, chronic pain and mental illness or whatever the case may be um, you know nasty bosses or you know, hard job or whatever. 
Um, you really, when you think about it, that's only a portion of your life. And really, life is good. Um, you know, think about your family. Think about your friends that you get to spend time with. And, and it is. Life is good. You know what? I really like that. I like how it turned out. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely um, share what you do. I would love to see it as well as the art junkie. She would love to see it as well. Um, actually, I want to hang on. I'm not done yet. I'm going to take this rose metallic. I got too much of it. And I'm just going to go around my circles here because I can. Just because I can. And you know it probably would have brought the stay the life or stay the course life is good out more, but that's okay. If I'd have done it in the rose. Sorry, I had an incomplete thought there for you guys. <laughs> if I had done the border, I'm sorry, the um Around that and the rose, it probably would have stood out more, but that's okay. Just remember, you know, a lot of this art we do, um, it's all about just playing. Playing, making marks, enjoying what you do. It's not about, oh my god, i got to have it all perfect. Yeah, no. If you're looking for perfection for me, you're never going to see it. So, um, I just enjoy playing. I enjoy having fun. I like how it turns out. And you know what? If I don't like it, it's a big deal. I turn the page. All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed. There's our pick 10 for this month. Um, like I said, I'd love to see what you do. Have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!